back to another vloggy vlog it's your girl alejandra here and welcome so i did a bit of shopping and i wanted to show you guys what i got so you're pretty much gonna see like my day-to-day -day routine in this vlog and i hope you guys enjoy it i hope you guys have been enjoying the videos period because quite honestly i've been enjoying like filming and editing and just getting out of my comfort zone but yeah i went into uniqlo and it's so funny I went into Uniqlo and I was like, I need tops. First off, I went shopping with just that in mind. And I went into Uniqlo and I ended up finding like four tops that are right up my alley. So I'm actually going to go ahead and try these on one by one to see how they fit and show you guys. Okay, so here's the first one. And this is the Uniqlo ribbed crop t-shirt. This one is a light gray and I got it in a large because I'm not too crazy about the crop situation but i figured i would get a large that way when i wear my high-waisted jeans it'll be right at the length of the top and i can like rock it the way i want to but i do like the fit i do like the comfort i'm a sucker for anything gray um gray is one of my favorite colors so yeah and the main reason too is like i like the contrast between the top and like my jewelry so so far okay so this is the second top and it's like a cute caramel brown color now funny enough i have been searching for tops like this for a hot minute because i had something like this um previously but that one's been like worn down to the ground so i really really like the fit of this i got it in a small another thing too is that it's a ribbed material so it's really lightweight it's breathable um, it's perfect for right now, springtime and summer. I can definitely see myself wearing this a lot during the summer with some shorts or some ripped jeans. Just like some comfy, comfy kicks. I would have to do like a minimal look so that's why I tucked my necklaces in. So I can even get like some larger hoop hoops to dress it up. But I am a fan. It comes in an array of colors, so I obviously picked this one out because I wanted something to complement my skin tone. But they also have an off-white, black, light blue, and like a muted green color. And then they also have pink. I don't care for pink, so I went with this one. I may go back and get the black in this one. Or knowing me, I'll get the off-white, but... The fit is like super cute and it feels really comfy and I got it in a size so Okay, so this one you can't really tell. It's not picking up on camera, but this is like a sage green situation and I really like the fit on this t-shirt. These are the crew neck short, leave, short sleeve t-shirts. So I got it in this sage green color. These are also $14.90 at Uniqlo. This is why Uniqlo does no wrong in my eyes because when it comes to basics but also just casual tops for everyday wear that you can dress up and dress down, I love that I can always find something in there at an affordable price and that I can just mix and match however I please. So the fit on this is really nice. I really like how it looks on the upper body. So now that you see the fit on this one, um, You'll pretty much see like how it looks in white. I'm still going to try the white one on, but <laughs> yes, this is going to be one that I'm wearing like 24-7. Okay. So this is the white one. Same fit. Love it. Even like right now with my sweats, it looks super casual. <laughs> but I also love how it makes my arms look. So you know how sometimes you just need a crispy white tee in your arsenal? Like this is it. I'm really happy I got it in the white as well. And I'm also happy that I got it in a small because it fits just the way I want it to. Yeah, these are super legit. So that's everything I picked up over at Uniqlo today. Really happy with my purchases. I, yeah, I think tomorrow for sure I'm going to go back and get the ribbed crop top in the dark brown. And I'm going to get another one of these in the mustard color because i picked it up i knew i wanted it but i put it back when i saw the sage green one but now that i see how they fit i'm gonna get two more tops and then i think i'm good as far as upping my casual tops collection but that's what i got and your girl wanted to show y'all whatever <laughs>
Sunday. Happy Mother's Day to all the mamas out there. And to everyone who is literally just enjoying their day today with their family, with their mother, with their loved ones. If y'all all got together. Me and my fam fam got together and it was a lot of fun. There was a lot of laughing. There was a lot of joy. And I'm just so full. And you know when you're like super full emotionally that you get some really great sleep? That's how I'm feeling tonight. But update, y'all. I ordered my new mounts on Friday. I got an updated delivery notification that it would be arriving Sunday, which is today. And everything was as normal. I got the notification. Um, and I was like, okay, cool. It's been delivered. But I was looking for the photo that shows you like what package has been delivered. Unfortunately, I didn't do that in the moment. So when I got home, I noticed that the package was not mine. The package was not mine. My mouse is nowhere to be found. And it's honestly not that big of a deal. I kind of had a feeling because I was wavering whether or not to order the mouse in the first place. I was like, you know what? I should just get this in person. But I was like, no, it's Amazon. And up until now, I've had no issue with none of my packages. But this was a gaming mouse. So I guess I'm not surprised that... She gone, y'all, but it's fine because I'm getting a full refund. And the other person, they got their package because I called them up to let them know. They came to pick it up. So, uh, we all good over here. I'm just like, you know, whoever booked it, congratulations, you have a new mouse. Is your conscience clear, though? You know, most people don't care. But that's my little story time about how a delivery went awry. Um, but yeah, now I'm looking at other options pretty much and I'm going to go get these in person and my keyboard will be here tomorrow. That's getting shipped to a pickup location because ain't nobody got time. But that's my little update. That's my little spiel. I'm sipping some chai tea for the night to just relax my body, my spirit and soul before I wrap up for the night. But I wanted to pop in real quick fast and say hi before we carry on with the rest of the vlog. So, welcome to Sunday, and I'ma catch y'all tomorrow. actually testing out my new camera mount that was gifted to me by my amazing nail techs so a shout out to me ladies for gifting me with a new mount i absolutely love it so i currently have you guys mounted on my desk 
and then here are the new nails for the next uh two to three weeks absolutely love them i'll go ahead and insert the inspo for this set as well because it's always a vibe when i go get my nails done with my girly me ladies so shout out to her and a big 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 thank you and then now i can finally do an appropriate sound test of my new keyboard so i'm gonna go ahead and show that for you because i'm absolutely in love with my keyboard and i'll include all of the links down below for you guys as well as my desk setup comes together so let's go ahead and hear how this uh, keyboard sounds 